Hi guys, Gunchim here and welcome back to my legendary playthrough of Skyrim on the Xbox 360. Um, in the last couple of episodes, um, after taking out Alain de Fun, we've decided to explore the uh, dwarven ruins of Ralbathar. Uh, we're currently in Ralbathar Deep Market um, after taking a, a load of Falmas, who <laughs> all piled up here. Um, now we've got a little puzzle to solve, uh, which basically involves, as you can see, um, these there's a button up here which we need to use to lower that drawbridge problem is there's no power going to the system so what we have to do is you can see the Falmer have wedged um, various items in the cogs um, and we just have to run around and remove them before we do that I thought it would be quite a good idea to raid the place and see what's what we can have uh, uh oh and as usual we are completely weighted down ooh, soul gems, why not? don't mind me ok, so the first things first um, there's also a couple of um, Charis Reavers um, who were held in that area over there so first thing we should do, I mean there were two of them so it's obviously they're guarding something useful um, <laughs> old battlefield trick of jump, jump, jump and jump so what kind of lock is it? Oh, it's a novice gate, not a problem don't need to use any of our special gear because we did pick up a fortified lock picking um, necklace and we also have some fortified locks making potions we made with um, spider's eggs and uh, nim nimaras or nimiras rot I think it's called but what I'm gonna do um, what have we got over here? Come, gold, it's a nice one. Thank you. Silver as well, gold and silver. And ebony! <laughs> Jackpot. Um, I'm going to pick up all these chorus eggs as well because they're quite useful ingredient and it's quite a bind to find them out in the, out in the field. Now oh, come on, this is an apprentice lock. It shouldn't be this difficult. Whoops, almost. Okay, one second. Excellent. Right, um, so what do we get there? <laughs> Not bad. So what I'm gonna do, there's an expert chest here and oh and a normal one. So let's crack open the expert chest. To do that, um I'm gonna definitely use oh, this crap we've picked up. Where is it? There it is, the necklace of eminent lock picking. And we'll look down a potion as well. So lock picking is forty six percent easier. And hopefully we can get it open with the 38 picks that we've got left. Oh, didn't prove too difficult. Let's see what we've got in here. Oh, we're going to level up again, I think. Um, gyro, scrap metal, ruby. Huh. Well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to ditch everything in here that we have on board for now. And just so that, because we are quite weighted down. Um, War axe, that one, that one. Okay, let's uh, firstly have a scout around these huts, see if there's anything useful in any of them. Mm -hmm. Ooh, another expert lock. So, obviously there's something useful in that. Another potion. Excellent, so it definitely helps with this, um, this necklace that we've got together with the potions. Um, Flawless ruby, gold, 
Or... Oh, excellent. More enchanted gear. And a staff. Hmm. It's not for all the stuff like because last time I did um, a dry run I actually got a flawless sapphire which I'm trying to find two for Medesi in Rifton um, so I'm kind of worried that it's not giving me that this time um, uh oh and we have something on our compass that's good Alright, let's check uh, this side, see if there's anything in here. Nope. Is that potion? Vigorous healing. Hmm, okay, I'm gonna take it. And what else? Anything? Hmm. That's kind of annoying because um I was really hoping it'd be a um a flawless sapphire. That looks like they're giving us a flawless ruby this time. Oh, let's just go on. Damn. Oh well, not to worry. Um right, so we've got a puzzle to solve, like I said before, and we need to get that button working. Now um, all you have to do is just check the these gears, the, the ones that look like they're blocked. So there's one here where we need the leg. Now that's moving. And there's one over there in that corner as well. Check the chest. Oh well, um what's in this? There's a skull. Nice. And then I'll quickly go over this side. I mean, I, I, like I say, I've done a dry run, so I know roughly where where everything is. The next one is here. I think it's a spine. Yep, yeah, human spine. And the last one we have to go diving for. So in we go. Now, first of all, I'm going to have a quick scoot round because I don't know if there was actually any chest here. I can't see one. Though. Nope, doesn't look like there's anything. So where we need to go is there's the, the cog that's broken. Door and scrap. So you'll know when it's worked as well because um, it'll be silent, you won't hear that grinding sound. So all we need to do is um, get ourselves ready first of all. So Fortified marksman going on, fortified sneak going on, uh, poison slow as well, and we'll hit that button. Okay, interesting. I did see a red dot there before. Okay, what the hell is that? It's like a cloaked something in there. Okay, that's really weird. Oh no, there he is. Crap, run away. Because it's a um, Dwarven Centurion. And these are really difficult things to take down. So, um, let's see. Um, potion, of, potion of slow. Fortified marksman. Fortified sneak. Let's pray to God we survive. <laughs> well, a time three attack on him, which is good. Ah, that should be easy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that guys, bit of an anticlimax. I thought it was going to be difficult because in my dry run it really was. Um, what do you have on him? Daedric Arrows, sweet. Uh, Centurion Dynamo, cool, why not? 
Grand Soul Gem, thank you very nicely. Gold, lesser gem, ruby. Oh, another enchanted item, and another enchanted item. So hopefully we don't know many of these spells and we can uh, disenchant them. Now, I think... Do I double check? Because I think we're free now from uh, any kind of dangers. Hang on. <laughs> Goodbye. And I think I saw another one on the left. Not quite sure though, maybe it's my paranoid. Nope, there wasn't. And does the map show it's cleared? It does, excellent. Oh, you lack the required item. That's a bit annoying. But there's the way out. We hit this button and we're out. So before I do that, um, we should really go back and collect all our booty that we've um, we've collected, a swag even. And we should really have a quick nosy around here as well. Excellent. This place is a gold mine. Oh, another chest. Why not? No flawless sapphire though. It's a shame, so it's kind of random. Which is a bit of a shame. I can really do with. I mean, I'm going to have to find two, and I'm not quite sure I'm going to do it. But for now, we'll just loot the place. Damn, I'm already overweight. Oh, here we go. store those for now. Actually, what's in there? I think there was a... Look, there you go. Another enchanted item. So just from raiding one dungeon, one dwarven dungeon, we found a ton of stuff we can disenchant. And another one! <laughs> Brilliant! This is so much fun. Oh, and uh, what's that? An Asterium Orb. We've already got one of those. But I'll take that as well. Anything else? I don't see any chests anywhere. So, well, what I'll do quickly, I'll, I'll just quickly show you. Um, you hit this lever here. And here we are outside again. So all you have to do is look on the wall for there it is a lever. These doors only ever open from the inside, which is a bit of a pain. And as you can see, we're actually above uh, where we started. So what I'm going to do, obviously, I'm going to go back and collect all our swag, um, get it over to Bree's home, and then I'll catch you in the next episode. We'll be um, in Markarth so that we can go see Muri and get our reward. Alright guys, I um, hope you've enjoyed this episode. I'm sorry the boss fight wasn't exactly as thrilling as I remembered it in my dry run. <laughs> but these things happen, you know, that's the problem with um, with playthroughs sometimes. Uh, we didn't find a flawless sapphire either, which was kind of our main reason for clearing this whole system out. Um, but yeah, I hope you've had fun. And as always, thanks for watching, take care and peace.